Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a look at another audio product. I don't do a lot of audio uh, but I'm doing a few recently and what we're looking at today is this really excellent piece of audio equipment that I purchased and it's called the Tascam DR701D and here it is. The reason why I'm now using external audio recorders is to help obviously with the audio quality. My main audio comes from my Rode Wireless Go as you can see here and that's wired directly into uh, my Panasonic G90 which is uh, the wide shot just over there. Um, that works great but what I have come across on so many occasions the audio might drop out so I do like to have a backup and what I'm using now and I've been using for the last few uh, episodes is a Tascam DR40X which is actually on a mic stand just in front of me here so that is my backup track so if something does go wrong with a road mic I've got which is actually a really decent sound, decent sound coming from the Tascam, Tascam DR40X. But I then purchased, well actually I purchased the DR701D prior to that. Um, this is a great piece of kit. Now I'm not going to go into any technical detail because I'm not a techie person when it comes to audio. I leave that to other people. Um, as long as it will do what I want it to do, that's fine by me. Um, so basically this, this device here, it is designed to fit underneath a DSLR. You can see here, I've got um, this G9 screwed onto the top. That comes off easily enough. And you've got uh, a thread to screw it on. And underneath it, it has a tripod bush as well. So you can connect it to a tripod, which is exactly uh, what I've done. Um, so that, from that point of view, it's great. The form factor is superb. Slants in display here. So when you have got it mounted on your tripod, it's slant, so you can actually clearly see the display. Um, and the display shows audio levels and all your menus and what have you. It's a six channel audio recorder. So you've got four XLR stroke quarter inch jack inputs, uh, of which are on the side here. So you've got two, uh, I think it's three that side. So you've got three inputs. There we go, three inputs, that side. And then that side, you've got um, another single input uh, on that side. Um, so that's uh, that's awesome. As I said, it's called a DR701D. They do a DR70D, um, which is very, very similar. But this has additional advantages over that, apart from the audio quality is better. Also, on the side where the three XLR inputs are, we've got a headphone jack with a headphone volume. And we've got an external um, uh, mini jack audio input. So it could be for a lapel microphone, a radio mic, um, or something of that nature. So uh, that's where, and that's a stereo feed. So um, that works out, you know, great. So you've got the three mono feeds, which obviously, uh, sorry, the four mono feeds, which come in via XLR or quarter inch jack. And then you've got the one stereo feed input. Um, and then on this side here, which is, Nifty, you've got HDMI in and out. I'll explain what that does in just a mo. Uh, so you've got HDMI in and out, and you've got uh, the camera in and out. So you can feed the audio coming into, into your camera, which is awesome. So uh, you get really good sound quality being fed straight to the camera. That's a stereo feed to the camera. This internally is a six track audio recorder, but obviously the camera can only record two tracks. So it feeds a stereo signal out to the camera. But if a camera has got a headphone jack, you can feed the audio out of a camera into this so you can monitor it from here. That will only work, obviously, if a camera has got a headphone jack. So that's what those uh, ports are. And a line out port. If you want to take a line out to external speakers, it could be a mixer, um, anything of that nature. Then on the front here, you've got two built-in microphones and uh, you know they're reasonable they're not going to be as good as the microphones that are on uh, this Tascam DR40X or other dedicated portable audio recorders but for a reference audio they're completely fine um, and then as I say on that side we've got your three XLR inputs 
um, and the headphone jack and the uh, microphone jack. On the front here, you've got your um, panel here, which will show the audio levels of the six inputs. So, and that's great. So you can actually visually monitor what the audio is doing on the six inputs. You've got your four um, uh, control pads here for the gain control on four of the inputs. Um, I'm not quite sure how the, the stereo feed is uh, controlled. I'd have to look into that, but um, that's your four main inputs, which is what you would be using in the main anyway. Um, and there's a rubber button, so it doesn't make noises when you uh, push them in whilst it's recording. So that's uh, that's nifty, a record button. A re Oops. So you've got uh, all these buttons here, which are all rubberized, and then you've got a record button for start stopping recording. Um, a slate control, so you can put a slate uh, noise on the start of your recording, uh, which is uh, handy. I've never used that, but you know I can imagine how that would be handy. Um, menu control on the front here puts push that in and then you can go through all your different menu functions audio levels setting them up uh, basically setting the whole system up what it will do um it's oh it's also got phantom power 48 volt phantom power to microphones that um don't have uh power you know microphones that don't take batteries uh, this will power the microphones uh, and that would be on any one of the four XLR inputs. So that's uh, that's great. Um, and you've got uh, a dual record mode. Now, uh, dual recording is um, a very useful feature that so many of these pro recorders have. My DR40X has got it as well, where if you're doing a stereo record, i.e. two channels, the other two channels will record, can record uh, a lower level. So if you find it distorts, well then the other two channels will record a lower level, so you've got a, a backup, basically. Um, and you've got all many other audio related functions and features on this DR701D. But the key feature for me, although I've not been able to get it to work as yet, but the key feature for me is why I bought it, is getting back to this HDMI in and HDMI out. Now the principle is that you can uh, set it up to take HDMI out of your camera to HDMI in on here. And when you start the record trigger on the camera, it sets the recording on the device. And um, that's great, but it is specific to the camera being able to transmit a HDMI trigger code, of which I have got cameras that will do that, but for some reason I haven't yet found a way of getting it to trigger this recorder. And I have tried it on, um, oh crikey me, the G9, the G90, uh, the Olympus OMD EM12, the Nikon, the Z6s, the Z50, and various other cameras as well. I still haven't been able to get it to work, so um, that for me is a failure at the moment, but I'm not going to give up. Um, but effectively, check Tascam's website before you purchase this unit based on that feature. Check your camera is listed uh, on their website first. None of my cameras are. I didn't check the website first before I bought it. Um, I never sent it back because it's a great audio recorder anyway. Um, so I thought I'll keep it and I may update the firmware to get it to work. The camera manufacturer may update the firmware but will eventually make it work, who knows. Um, so that's effectively the HDMI in and out there. So the out, basically, you can feed it to an Antimos recorder or monitor so you can actually view what it is that it's recording. So um, that's for HDMI and it's got USB port. Now that USB port is great because it does exactly the same as what the uh, DR40X done. It, it's got three functions effectively. You can, uh, sorry, two functions on this, whether 40 has got three. Um, but the two functions are USB power, which is what I'm using here. I've got it powered by my, uh, where is it there? Uh, my Anchor USB block. Um, so that's really useful. Um, that's one function. And USB out to your computer to take the files off. Um, which I tend not to do. I just whap out the SD card. The SD cards are behind this flap where the batteries are. 
I don't rely on the internal batteries because um, I don't think they'd last very long. Um, it's quite a, you know, it's quite a pokey unit to power, particularly if you're powering microphones from it. Um, bit of an awkward flap, a bit plasticky. I'm pretty convinced that's going to break off at some point. Um, but the, US, the SD card is basically behind this flap and it's just there. So standard size SD card, no micro SD nonsense. The construction of the unit though is great. I mean, it's solid, it's metal, you know, um, made well. Um, it, it is really good. Uh, I didn't mention actually, it's got a BNC connection here. And this BNC on the side here is your time code in. So you can lock it to a time code from your camera um, that will sync the audio up when you come to edit. It will take the time code in and you'll get perfect sync because your edit suite will, rec will be able to read that time code. Um, you can do the same through HDMI. If your camera feeds out a time code through HDMI, you can lock the uh, time code of a recorder to the camera. So when you edit, you can get a perfect sync on the edit. So, you know, that's great. I don't really have an issue with that because when I put my SD card out of my DR40X, I just do it in Final Cut Pro and sync the two and it's, you know, pretty good. It seems to be fine. But um, I mean, that is a feature anyway. So that's the, um, that's what the time code in, that BNC time code in is there. That's the um, Tascam DR701D. I hope you found this review useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you find my channel useful. And please hit the like button and share this video if you liked this particular video. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Please tune in for more videos relating to video and photography. And uh, stay tuned, you know, for more videos like this one. Thanks very much. See you again soon. Bye for now.